Hey, I'm so glad you're joining me today. Let's start with our hugs. Everybody hug. Oh, thank you. I think we should start every day with a hug. That is just a good feeling. So today we're going to talk about God wants you to pray. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12 says, Then you will call on me and I will come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Right there, God is telling you, he wants you to call on him. He wants you to pray. He's gonna be listening. That gives me joy. That gives me peace to know he's always there. Okay, so let's see today if you can guess who the Bible person is that I'm talking about. God loved making the world and all the people in it. But after a while, many of those people stopped caring about God. They wanted to do their own thing, their own way, and they ignored God. They didn't listen to Him. But not me. I listened to God. I loved talking with Him, and He loved talking with me. That's why God gave my family and me a second chance when God sent a huge flood to destroy everything in the world, he saved my family on a huge boat. You know, when you pray, you invite God into your life. So when the floods of life come your way, God is always there to help you through them because he cares. You know, we all have problems that sometimes overwhelm us and we just feel they're just too big for us to handle. God wants us to pray to Him. He wants us to talk it out with Him. He will be listening. God cares about our hardships and our happy times. Think of a good friend you have. When you're upset, you talk to them. Uh, Or if you're happy, you go and tell them, don't you? Yeah, well, that's what God wants. He wants to be your friend. He wants you to want him and to need him because he wants to help us. He wants to guide us. He wants to give us peace and comfort. He wants to celebrate with us and he wants to teach us. So sometimes those uh, hard times that we have are our own making, but it doesn't matter. God is still there for us. So today, I want you to talk to God about something that is bothering you, something in your life, a hardship. But don't forget, we also want to thank Him for all the things around you, okay? So let's talk to Jesus now. Oh wait, I forgot. Did you know who the person was? Okay, so He loved God. He loved talking to Him. There was a huge flood and a huge boat. Who do you think it was? Noah, good job. Okay, let's talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much for each one of these boys and girls that are listening. Um, I thank you for giving us this chance to be able to do this. Lord, with all this COVID going on, that's a hardship in our life. It's changed things in our lives. It's made things that we're used to doing and we love doing, we can't do. But Jesus, you haven't changed, you haven't moved, you are still there for us. And more so, you're in control of this, all of this stuff with COVID and and the illnesses going around. So Jesus, we just lift that up to you for you to heal our world, for you to take that away and know that you're there for us. And Jesus, I wanna thank you for the people around us. Um, I have such great people around me. I have, you know, my co-workers at church who are loving and caring, my family, my friends. Jesus, you just bless us with all of this that we take for granted sometimes because we're just used to it. But Jesus, it could be gone. And so we praise you and we thank you for it. We pray, um, I pray that You just bless these boys and girls today. You open their eyes, open their hearts so that they can see you. They can look around them 
They can see what's around them, what you've blessed them with. And as you move in their hearts, and you just fill them with that warm love feeling. Jesus, I praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen.